Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Gostoszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today for exam FM, financial mathematics. An investor owns a bond that is redeemable for 250 in six years from now. The investor has just received a coupon of C and each subsequent semi-annual coupon will be 2% larger than the preceding coupon. The present value of this bond immediately after the payment of the coupon is 582.53, assuming an annual effective yield rate of 4%. Calculate C. And here's the solution. So the coupons remaining will be 1.02 C, 1.02 squared times C, 1.02 cubed times C, and so on. And the last one will be 1.02 to the 12th times C. And they will come at times 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and so on, until the last one comes at times 6 in the future. So the that present value without the coupon that was just paid, just the future coupons in the principal repayment at time 6 of 250 is just the present value of all these coupons. And what we do here is then we um, notice that uh, the, f the coefficient of c in the first expression is 1.02 divided by square root of 1.04 and the next coefficient is, is the square of the first coefficient and the next one is the cube of the first coefficient and so on. So if we factor out c, the f the, all the terms that have c in them can be combined into a sum from i equal to 1 to 12 of 1.02 over square root of 1.04 to the power i. And it's a partial sum of a geometric series but doesn't start with 1, it starts with 1.02 over square root of 1.04. So I'm going to factor out 1.02 over square root of 1.04 so that it will start with 1, it will be 1 plus the ratio of that geometric series, so 1 plus r, for standing for the ratio plus r squared and so on, and the last term will be to the 11th power. 1 plus r plus r squared, r cubed, and so on, up to r to the 11th. And the sum like that is equal to 1 minus r to the 12th over 1 minus r. So that's what I do it for. So I remember, you should remember that formula for a partial sum of a geometric series that starts with 1. So what we have here is c times 1.02 over square root of 1.04 times 1 minus 1.02 over square root of 1.04 to the 12th over 1 minus 1.02 over square root of 1.04 and then plus uh, the present value of the redemption value which is 250 over 1.04 to the 6th. And we just calculate all, the, all these numbers on the right hand side and this equation becomes 583.53 is approximately equal to 12.015009 C plus 197.5786314 and we solve it for C and it's got to be approximately equal to 582.53 minus 197.578.6314 divided by 12.015009 and that comes out to be approximately 32.0392731. Answer A. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from a society of actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.